Hello everyone, today I'd like to talk about some Wireshark components. You'll first bump into these components on the Choose Components page of the Wireshark installer. And this is my installer. So which ones should we select? First, T-Shark. This is something you gotta have. It's a command line version of Wireshark. So it's basically Wireshark without the GUI. T-Shark allows you to analyze network traffic by using your terminal. Next is External Capture Tools or XCAP. It's literally about external capture interfaces. XCAP allows Wireshark to use external tools for capturing packets. So it's like if you have other network capture tools other than Wireshark, you can configure Wireshark to use the tool via XCAP. There's a bunch of different stuff here, and now let's take a look at each of them. First, we have Android dump. So it's not like he's a 10, but he uses Android, then it's zero, dump him. So Android dump is nothing like that. It is something that captures network traffic from Android devices. It actually helps you to see the network communication and troubleshoot some app-related issues and analyze potential malware. Next up. ETW dump. As its name, event tracing for Windows suggests, it reads Windows event logs related to networking. So when you have network failures or performance issues, it can be very useful. Right below, we have random packet dump. Its purpose in life is to generate random packets. So what does it do? Well, in real life, well, let's say when developers create network applications, they can use random packet dump in testing by simulating network traffic. You can use it to stress test routers, switches, and firewalls by flooding them with random packets. Then what are SSH dump, Cisco dump, and Wi-Fi dump? So let's take a look at them one by one. SSH dump is an XCAP tool that allows you to run a remote capture tool over an SSH or secure shell connection. So it helps you to troubleshoot network issues on remote servers without physically being there. Cisco dump remotely captures traffic from Cisco devices in a secure shell connection. And Wi-Fi dump captures wireless network packets. So if you are experiencing weak signals or interference, Wi-Fi dump can help diagnose the problem. And last but not least, it's my favorite. Maybe, or maybe not. Anyway, let's take a look at UDP dump. UDP dump captures user datagram protocol or UDP packets. I think this one has more relatable usage examples. It can be used in diverse settings, such as when you are Skyping or on a Zoom call, then having some issues. UDP dump can analyze the voice over IP packets, so it's pretty cool. You can also peek into streaming video or audio packets using UDP dump and inspect DNS traffic as well. All right, so this was a brief introduction to Wireshark XCAP tools. Hope it was helpful. And if it was, please click the like and subscribe buttons. I appreciate it. And ciao.